Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to have you guys here today and I'm excited to be here because I haven't been filming up here much lately. I've been doing weekend vlogs the last two weekends in a row and then this weekend, this past weekend rather, I didn't vlog. I started to but there wasn't anything interesting in it. I almost put it up and named it a vlog about nothing. <laughs> Because really, it was just me watering plants, doing a little painting outside on some different things, and it just wasn't it wasn't anything vlog worthy. So anyway, I'm getting back on track this week, and I'm starting today's video with Fendi baguettes. As you see, this is my Fendi baguette family, and the last time I unboxed in here, I unboxed this beautiful. Fendi baguette. I did get this from Fashion File and the color is absolutely beautiful. It is like sunshine and so many of you mentioned in my video it's like sunshine so I'm going to call it my sunshine bag and whenever I'm gloomy or down if I carry this bag it will instantly lift my spirits. It's such a beautiful bag. I'm going to compare the leather baguettes and this one I got when I was in Houston with Autumn at the boutique. This one from Fashion File and I'm going to compare the leather baguettes with my Fendi Zuka that I got when I was in Atlanta. So we're going to compare these and some people may just love the Zuka and not really into the colors. I love them all. <laughs> but we're going to compare them and see what they hold, which one has the biggest capacity, and in the end, which one do I prefer. So if you guys want to hear what I have to say about the Fendi baguette, stick around. All right, guys, before we get started, I want to let you guys know that filming has begun on my Halloween video, and I think I may have told you that before, but you guys, I think this might be the best one yet. It's going to be hard to top last year because that was, that was pretty funny, the spoof I did on Winnie, <laughs> and she's a great sport, you guys, but I feel like this video is coming together better than I had hoped and I'm just excited you guys I can't wait to release this Halloween video this year and I hope a lot of my YouTube friends are doing something also in honor there I fell back again ah, in honor of Halloween you don't have to put a production out but it would be funny if you did something in honor of Halloween and for me Halloween is just a fun holiday I've always enjoyed it when my kids were small and I still enjoy it today but you guys my Halloween video is going to be epic you guys epic so I look forward to sharing it with you and I also look forward to seeing some of your videos if you are going to film a video in the spirit of Halloween I know that Kevin is going to and I believe Devin is and Dawn. So for sure I know the four of us are doing a Halloween video. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and talk about the Fendi baguette because it's all about Fendi these days. Fendi, we're all Fendi crazy right now, okay? It's like a Fendi apocalypse, right? <laughs> it is coming up on the 25th anniversary of the Fendi baguette that they're going to release the Tiffany baguette so that's exciting but we'll get into all that and we will talk about the ones that I have as well. Alright guys I'm really excited about this video because it is coming up on the 25th anniversary of the Fendi baguette and there has recently been a fashion show in Manhattan lots of stars were there Sarah Jessica Parker is the spokesperson, she's the ultimate spokesperson for the Fendi baguette. No, it's not Dale. She's a close second, right Dale? <laughs> of Dale's Addiction. I will link her video below. She just recently did a video about upcoming bags, but Sarah Jessica Parker is a spokesperson and she's been affiliated with the baguette for as long as I can remember. I guess as long as it came out and she's been shown on Sex in the City, with the baguette and of course her famous line it's not a bag it's a baguette i love it you guys i love it i love it so much so <laughs> 
that is one reason I want to showcase these bags and my collection is small I have a three baguettes you guys but I would trade in quite a few of my bags for more baguettes so I'm obsessed with the baguette I have been ever since I got this one this is the first one that I got in the Fendi Zuka print and then of course I got the pink one when I was with Autumn and it was brand new the, out this spring I actually got this one right out of the special closet they have in the back it had not been released yet but they did sell it to me pre-release date and that was so exciting I cannot tell you how exciting and since I've had these two bags I have been obsessed with the baguette so it's fitting that I do a video on the baguette 25th anniversary and you guys there's so many I believe they're I'm not really 100% up to par on all this but I believe they're putting out 25 new baguettes for the 25th anniversary of the baguette they're gonna put out a black sequin small baguette if I were to get one of the sequin baguettes that's the one I would go for I don't know how limited they are they're probably going to be quite limited so if you do have a Fendi representative or sales associate you may want to try to pre-order I know a lot of these are available for pre-order now and I just don't know but the only thing is I just don't know you know which ones they are of course but the Fendi baguette the Tiffany Fendi baguette it's coming out in January of 2023 and they are taking pre-orders for those as well. Now, I have these baguettes. If I could get another baguette, which one would it be? It would be a black sequin baguette. I was crazy for the purple one. I've held it in my hands when I was in Houston with Autumn and there were a couple other sequin baguettes, you guys. Oh my gosh they are to die for but i was in love with the purple baguette because of course you know sarah jessica parker she had one on the sex and the city and i <laughs> i found an alternative okay it's not a baguette it is a kurt geiger bag in the purple sequin and i just thought it was a pretty good cheap alternative for the same look because the uh, sequin baguettes they're very pricey you guys and I mean I have not carried this but I haven't carried I haven't really paid a lot of money for it I got it on sale and when I saw this I thought I'm gonna grab that is this not the best going out or special occasion party bag ever and for no more than I paid for it maybe a little over a hundred hundred and fifty dollars it's okay to sit on the shelf for a while until that right time comes. But that's why I think if I ever really got a sequin baguette, I would go for a black and they are going to be among the new baguettes being released. All right, guys, if I can find this or something similar, I will link it in my description box because this is a great little, you know, dupe for a baguette, I think, you know, if you're going for the look. But I'm glad I have it, but what I wouldn't give for a black or purple sequin baguette, you guys. Oh, okay, so now this bag is the Zuka print. This is just the regular size. Now, they do make a small and they do make a larger baguette. And the larger baguette is quite a bit larger than this one. But this one to me is a great everyday size because you can fit all your essentials in it and you don't have to skimp and the bag is malleable I mean it's just you know it's um, material Zuka print and it's just a big open hole on the inside and you have a very generous very generous back pocket in the very back I think it's just a perfect everyday bag it's kind of I guess um, if you don't want to go monogram, Louis Vuitton monogram, this could be like the next thing. But I love it. And it also comes with the non-adjustable strap. You can take this off and connect it with this strap and make it crossbody. And I've done that. Now, I would love to have the gold Fendi strap, you guys. But it's $1,000 and I just can't bring myself. I, I, oh, I can't bring myself to do it. So... 
You can also get, you know, gold shoulder straps from Dress Up Your Purse. They have everything you could ever want, so that may be the, an alternative that I go with. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and put some of my things in this bag. Then I'm going to take them out and put them in this bag. And when I unboxed this bag, I said for some reason the yellow one looks bigger. And it still does. But they're medium sized baguettes. And even some of you agreed, but I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me. But these are medium baguettes as well. Alright guys, so this is my bag of the week. I've carried this bag, well it's only Tuesday, I carried it all weekend and I'm still carrying it. Of course today I haven't been anywhere, but I carried it out yesterday. I haven't carried her for a while. I love her. The Speedy, the classic Speedy 25, my absolute favorite of the Speedies. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff in here, probably stuff I don't even need to take with me, but I'm going to take things out of here that I would normally carry in my baguette and put it, what am I trying to say? <laughs> Take things out of the Speedy and put them into my baguette. Here we go guys. Now, when I pack my bag, I normally pack it with one of the bigger items and in my Speedy I had my toiletry 15. Now recently, Ever since I really got it, I've been using my um, O case, my Chanel O case, which is quite a bit smaller and thinner, but I've carried extra things with me recently, so I'm carrying this one right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one in the baguette, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and put it down in there. There we are. Then I usually pack whatever card case or wallet that I am carrying. And I've been using this Tory Burch Walker card case. I, I love this card case so much. So I'm going to put this, like I normally do, in the back pocket where the zipper is because it just adds security. So there's plenty of room back there for my card case. Right back there, okay? So I have been also carrying around this from my Felici. It's just this thin insert that went with my Felici and I have some cash and some checks in there and some receipts. I find this very helpful. So if you do have a Felici, get it out, get the insert out and use it because this is a very, very usable, user-friendly item and I use it all the time. So this of course fits in there no problem right here right behind the toiletry 15 because it's halloween i've been using my little coach pumpkin coin case you guys i love this so much and i got it last year and it's on the website now so you should grab it because they're not around long there's also a candy corn i believe i sent autumn a candy corn last year and also a little ghost but this is a perfect little round coin case so I've been using this for my coins and I will it's it's you know it's pretty thick but let's go ahead and put it in there look at all the space I can still put more stuff in there you guys these pack a punch my four ring key holder that Winnie got me last year at Christmas love you girl uh, goes in there I'll just kind of slide it kind of stand it up right here behind my little pumpkin coin case so I've got my car fob in here. This is my Daisy Rose clay that I love way more than the Louis Vuitton because I love the size of it. And I've got some cough drops in there that I've been needing. You guys, I have long-term COVID. I went to the doctor last week and he said that he's had several people that's had it. So that's one of the things that's been wrong with me. I just have not been able to completely kick it. I cough, I get choked, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be, you know, better soon. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put that right in front of the, right here, right in front of my 15. And look, you guys, what else did I have in here? Now, this is my Stodd um, pill case. You guys, I've looked for more of these. 
I think they made one batch of them. I had that in there. That will go in there. Now normally I don't carry that around with me, but because I've been a little sick lately and I went to the doctor the other day and I've needed some ibuprofen, I've had it in my bag in my Speedy, but it does fit in there just fine. These are the Sunnies that I've been wearing. They're Celine in a Louis Vuitton soft case. Just pop that right on the top. And normally I do bring my readers with me, but they were not in here. I must have taken them out. The only thing that was in there is <laughs> just one of these Gucci bags that I had my readers in. And it was just thrown in there. So, hey, why not? I'll just throw it in there. But if I had my readers, they're not very big, they would fit in there as well. Everything that was in my Speedy fits in my medium-sized baguette. No stress. Everything. It's not stressed at all. I mean, this bag, for the size of it, packs a punch. Because before I got this one, I was thinking about getting the large. I thought, I'll just get a large baguette, baguette because the medium's not very big, you guys. But it holds so much. It's a perfect everyday bag. Everything that was in this bag, and I could have put more in it, of course, is now inside this bag. Look at that. It just, it's like a Mary Poppins bag or something. You just keep putting things in it, putting things in it, and it just, it, it just works, you guys. This is a brilliant bag. Now, a lot of times, I do carry this Kiragami, this itty bitty Kiragami, and I have my art cards in it because I do get asked for cards a lot. Every time I don't have them, somebody's going to ask me. Even this will fit in there. I can put it, oops, okay, <laughs> take two. It will even fit right there in the front, pop my sunnies right back in there, and bam, it works, you guys. This bag works for an everyday bag. So, it's the perfect everyday bag. Now, I have carried this quite a bit, but I don't think I ever packed it this full. So, let's go ahead and see if everything from this bag goes in this bag, okay? We won't do the pink and the yellow because they're the same bag, even though my eyes may be deceiving me. This one seems a little bit bigger, but inside this bag right now, I have the non-adjustable strap, and this one is just called yellow, the color. I looked on the website a minute ago, and it's just called yellow. So, it's just a black interior, again, with a very, very um, generous back pocket, and here is the authenticity card. I need to put that away. All right, guys, so let's pack it the very same way we just did the Zuka print bag. So I always start with my biggest item. And really, if I'm carrying these baguettes, more than likely I'm not going to carry this. But I'm just showing you guys for the sake of the video. I probably would just carry this. Toiletry 15. We are going to put in my Tory Burch Walker card case in the back. All right, now we will put in this Kiragami insert right in there. Coin purse. Now I could really, in all honesty, I would probably put coins and cough drops and my car fob in one of these two. But I tend to have, I have both of them for some reason in my Speedy because my Speedy is so big. But we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing. So let's put the little orange um, card case, put the Daisy Rose, and I will link that below if I can find it. If, I always push these things, you guys, because they're fantastic. And I've always said I love them way more than the Louis Vuitton. Here is my Stodd pill case right over here behind the little jack-o'-lantern coin case. My car keys, I had those stacked up right here on the side. Throw this in there, the, this little Gucci bag that had my readers in it. I don't know what happened to them. I'm always losing them. Okay, put this in the front like I had it. And I always put my sunnies on the very top, bam, Okay, 
So, it folds over, but it's not going to snap with all the stuff in it. Not without putting stress on the bag. So, this Zuka print actually does hold a little bit more, I think, because it's just out of uh, canvas, or not canvas, material. And this leather, you just don't want to put um, stress on it. So if I had to take one thing out of here to make it work, I would take out this, put the sunnies back in there and see if it'll snap because it will fold over. It just won't snap. So that works. See, did you hear that snap? So that works. This is the only thing that I took out of this bag that fit very easily in this one. So I guess we can see that the Fendi Zuka print holds a little bit more. And because these bags are so light, I mean, it's weighty right now because I do have it weighted down, but it's not terribly heavy because for me, the number one kill, the number one kill is a heavy bag. I just won't buy heavy bag. So really you guys, I'm not really surprised. I had a feeling that this one would hold a little bit more and it does. Not a lot, but a little bit more. But if you're like me and you don't like to put stress on your nice bags and you, you know, you just carry the minimum with you and I do, unless I'm going on a trip and then for some reason I just feel like I need all kinds of stuff that I never need. <laughs> I'm just like that, you guys. Oh, I need this, I need that. All right, guys, before I end this video, I do need to tell you something very important. Something that I don't want you to forget, okay? It's not a bag, it's a baguette. 